I have problems tomorrow. For the Australians. Great shot. Beautifully driven through the offside by Ejaz. He was knocked over by Fleming driving in the first innings, but. It's gone well in the air. The story is, if you're going to hit it, then don't hang back. Yeah, it's a good shot for four. You can trust the bounce here. And a very good pull shot. So two boundaries, successive balls, one a square cut, and the other one past square leg. Didn't quite get that out of the meat of the bat. Fleming's got to get it up. They can play on the front foot, and that front foot won't be past the, the return, the popping crease. A beauty. Almost as though he was expecting it. Anything that's uh, the slightest bit loose. It's a good shot. Well, the stroke play has been very good. Last um, four overs. Shane Warren bowled a good over the last one. Uh, he was on at the members' end. He jazz again quickly onto that back foot. He's, he's worked out how to uh, play pretty successfully here at the Wacker ground. He's making the most of it. It's five for 129. There he goes. It's his favourite shot. Wasn't all that short. That's beautifully played. He's hit it over a wide, long on position. Oh, he's hit that one well. Up, wide outside off stump, and he's blitzed it through the offside. There'll be a little glare here between the two of them as they... Uh, Cross paths in McGraw to Ejaz. Well played too. That's going to go uh, all the way to the boundary as well. Off the edge and that's running down towards the boundary. It's not a convincing shot but it's been a very good century. Ejaz is fighting back here for Pakistan. Big cheers from everybody. That's 12 test centuries. Six against Australia. Three in Australia. And this is the fifth series in which he scored at least one century against Australia. He's a good player, E. Jazz. Javid, me and Dad always considered one of the uh, finest players. And that's a terrific shot. He's Played that well today. He's picked up the slightly short of a length delivery and whacked it over mid wicket on a number of occasions. 14 fours, and a lot of them would be through that mid wicket area. And quite a few of them square of the wicket on the offside. That one not quite square of the wicket, but uh, same result in the scorebook. He is getting menacing, these two. And once again, well, he's certainly worked out uh, better than any other Pakistani batsman how to play here at the Wacker ground. When the bounce is true, you can afford to uh, play that pull shot at fairly regular intervals. Shouts of catch it and it should be caught. Although it was hit right into the sun, it was not an easy catch. But uh, Michael Kasperovic has got the wicket of Ejaz. Michael Slater taking a good catch in the outfield. Might have been a bit of relief there from Michael Slater. It's hit right into the sun. He's done it for quite a long while. A good piece of bowling actually from Michael Kasovic. A lot of balls up there. Kept him in the drive and finally banked in a good bouncer. Michael Slater was the man. Took it well in the end, but he looks very relieved. And that's a big wicket. End of a very fine innings from Ejaz Ahmed. It's for a great hundred against Australia. 
Pakistan now seven, 230.